Hi there, I'm going to show you a quick technique that I just ran across uh, for creating uh, two vertically ordered columns out of a set of HTML elements using pure CSS. Uh, before I dive into exactly what that means and, and how to do that, uh, let me just say uh, that this technique technique uses the uh, nth child pseudo selector in CSS and as of right now according to SitePoint um, IE8 does not support uh, this method so uh, all of the other uh, latest versions of the current browsers do uh, of the major browsers do um, so just want to make that disclaimer if that bothers you um, you can feel free to <laughs> not keep watching but um, here we go. Uh, let me let me explain first of all uh, the problem and the solution that I came up with. Uh, f this is what inspired me to to look into this. Basically, I have a form uh, with uh, a list of check boxes, and this is actually pulled out of a database. So um, I kind of have limited um, ability to dive in directly into the specific code, or either that, or it's a little bit difficult. So I wanted to avoid that if possible. Um, and you can see that the, the vertical space is, is pretty large, so uh, my hope was to create two columns to kind of cut down on the size and group those together a little bit better. Um, and so what I came up with is when I'm all set is said and done, it uh, looks like this. Um, you know, nothing super fancy, but you will see that it's two columns and that they're vertically ordered. And um, that, using pure CSS, is actually a little bit harder than you might think. Um, so you'll see what I'm talking about um, in a second. So here's a much more simple example. Um, so let me use this one. Um, this is just my Chrome window over here, so my browser and uh, my editor here, Optana Studio. Um, so this is again a really simple example. I've just got uh, one div uh, with a class of parent around a bunch of generic, n not not labeled divs. Um, one through five, so so they don't have a class or anything specific to identify them, and that's the key. Um, so uh, here's what it looks like in the browser. Again, nothing fancy, um, but let's let's dive in. So the first thing you would probably think to do uh, is to let's well first let's add some styles. I'm not going to work worry about the rest of the HTML for the page. Just keeping it really streamlined, so you can just see the CSS and uh, and the HTML for specifically what we're looking at only. Um, so the first thing let's do is let's add some styles for uh, that parent div. Um, and as I go, I'm also going to add some some things so you can actually see the changes as they happen. So I just made the the div light gray and overflow hidden so that that it'll stretch in a visible way for you to see. Um, but the first thing we need to do is just set a static width. Uh, I, I just chose 200 pixels just as a just somewhere to start. Um, so you can see here's our gray div that showed up. Um, so that's the parent div. We can see. Uh, um, and then I'll next I'll style the divs inside of the parent div. So div dot parent div. So all of the divs inside uh, a div with a class of parent. And I'll just give those gray dashes. There you go, got them. Um, now here's the reason we uh, gave that parent div a width is I'm gonna add, give a 49% width of all those elements. You can see that's what happens there. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because we want to have two columns and uh, so 50-50. Uh, I, I gave a 1% margin of error in case for different browsers sometimes the padding matters or the border um, so I just give it a little bit of wiggle room in general um, if you don't care about being pixel perfect. Um, and so then the next thing you would probably think to do is just float those guys left And there we go, we've got two columns, but it, now you see where the problem comes in because the order is actually horizontal, one, two, three, four, five, instead of the way I wanted it, which is one, two, three, four, five. Um, so that's where we have to get a little bit more fancy um, in order to make this thing work. Uh, so let me drop in the, the nth child styles that I was just talking about, and I'll try to explain these for you. Um, so here we go. Basically, uh, 
I'll, I'll let you learn how to use the nth child uh, pseudo selector um, but this is what it looks like so we've got div parent and then the divs inside of that and then we're using nth child to select specific ones of those divs um, and, and then I have a little equation here that's helping me to do that um, the article I would suggest in order to learn how to do this is uh, actually um, CSSTricks.com, how nth child works. You can Google that and you should be able to find this article. It's a really nice just showing you what to actually put in here. Um, so you can see you could put five and that would select only the fifth uh, child element. Um, there's different things you can do like odd. Um, stuff like that. I'll let you read that article and you'll, you can get the hang of it. Um, but for my purposes, basically what I did was uh, this equation selects the fourth item and on so that we should see that affect f basically four and five in this case. And then uh, this equation selects the first three divs. So one, two, and three. And uh, again, I've just get a, give them background color of orange and pink so you can see which ones they're affecting. Affecting. So uh, let's refresh this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so you can see uh, well, the first three are pink, like we were hoping, and the last two, or four and five, four and up, have a background of orange. Uh, good deal. Now you can see uh, basically that what I've done here is, um, and let me take these away. This is actually the next step. So if all I'm doing is just showing what's selected, there you go. So you see see the change there. Um, now what we need to do, walking down our road, is uh, basically to float none to take away that IE browser style and then uh, clear both of these left and then float left. Um, and the only other style that we're actually going to need is since these are divs, they don't uh, respond in the way that we're wanting, so I'm actually going to say display inline block. So that makes them react a little bit more like we were wanting. And there you go. You see, actually, we've got the um, got the order that we wanted. One, two, three, four, five, um, like that. Uh, so again, just to try to explain what's going on here. I had to do display inline block because it's a div um, and they display static by default uh, but we wanted to just kind of have these four and fives just kind of scoot up and and, and push around based on the, the elements around them um, so but we floated um, in Internet Explorer let me show you what this looks like for one thing this is the graceful degradation part I was talking about um, you can see we still have the two columns but they're still ordered wrong. That's the best we could do for Internet Explorer, um, but I was okay with that <laughs> so that I could get this nice functionality in all of the other browsers. Um, so in this browser, so uh, this float left only applies to Internet Explorer. Um, for these codes, I have this little note that says the following will be understood by all current browsers except for Internet Explorer. And so you can see that only all the other browsers see this except for Internet Explorer and any older browsers. So uh, the first thing we do is to actually override in the fourth and fifth element, or the fourth and up, we are taking away the float left. Um, so that way they're just kind of displayed inline and floating around wherever they want to be. Um, and then in the first three divs, we wanted to clear them left and float them left. So what that does is it drops, drops, uh, drops them down and continues on a vertical way. And then those first, or those last two elements, four and up, kind of just shove on up over to the left. So that's a long, kind of uh, confusing, boring explanation of what's going on. But you should be able to use this technique. I can clean up this code um, s since now that you can see what happened. I can take out these demo only lines so you get a little bit cleaner shot uh, looking at what I did um, I save that and show you so there you go just just the columns only and uh, here's more of the full code uh, so feel free to use that let me know if you have any questions thanks